Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 39 of my lower league management playthrough in Football Manager 2014 with Bath City. Hopefully we'll be able to continue the good form of the previous game. It's been very, very rare in this series, or this season specifically, that I've had two wins in a row. Uh, you can see here I had three wins in a row there, and especially in the league. There's not many other instances and last season, I did go on runs of winning. If I go back to the previous season, uh, you can see runs of winning, start of the season there. Then we dropped off a little bit, but the end of the season, we went on a really good run of form of being unbeaten since then. You can see there, mid-March, we're getting to that stage now almost. Uh, that's when we got the new intake of players. And hopefully, if I can go on that kind of run, I was actually unbeaten for the whole season since then. Even in the player final, we only lost on the lottery of penalties. So, yeah, if we won, we could be playing the school premier football uh, this season, but of course it was not to be the case. Uh, but yeah, we'll look to move on. We've got Dorchester and Eastbourne Borough. Two crucial games. You've got Dorchester away, who are sitting last. We should beat them even though playing away. Then Eastbourne Borough, we're playing at home, and they're just above us, and we have a game in hand to them, so come on. We'll be looking to at least uh, put ourselves into the promotion places in the playoffs and got to try again, I guess. To come first, I guess if we go on a run of winning, uh, it will be possible because, of course, other teams will drop. If you even look at the best teams here, it's different to, like, Premier League. If you go to first in the Premier League, you wouldn't see the top team with eight draws and seven losses. That's what I mean. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit tighter, but it's all good. Uh, but we've got to look to win here, surely. We're playing against a team that's last. They've lost 19 times. We cannot take anything up, like... It's hard to say because I'm resting a few players here. I uh, have to drop a few players out. And of course, you know... What's his name? I can't even remember his name now. He left already. Uh, yeah, I forgot his name. Because he didn't even make a good impact. That right back. Uh, Kira Gilbert, that's it. Had to think a little bit of some other situations that made me remember him. But anyway, uh, yeah. That was the case. And right now, Mabbitt is coming in right back. We definitely need a new right back. Uh, Ball is just not good. He's just coming back from an injury, so that's only his problem right now. Marvin Bennett, his condition's not good enough, and that's basically it. So I would pray for a new right back with the youth intake. I would love that. But for now, we're going to have to go in like this. I'm playing Mab. He has suburb morale, been playing for the reserve. So he's going to have some match fitness, of course. Well, even though he's lacking match fitness, he's still he's got the superb morale. Hopefully, that will be good enough, and he'll come in and play well for us in defense. But this has to be... Like I was talking about previously, I was talking about it's not important to get promoted because we don't have a team that should be expected to get promoted, at least in my opinion anyway. I'll tackle Jacob Walcott. Didn't he used to, he used to play for Reading as well or something? Yeah, came through the Reading Academy. Well, he never actually played from them. He made a big drop. He went on loan to School South, so he mustn't. they must not thought he would have been good enough. If the best team, you go out on loan. Like, use your team for reserves in the championship would go like a league two or something and he wasn't good enough for that level so uh yeah he's played at this level he's got experience playing at this level i guess that's good for him that's a positive sign and he scored seven goals in the league so that makes sense but anyway we'll move on here like i said we're not being expected to get promoted maybe that's going to be good for us look williams 19 assists tolly 14 goals you think one of them or if not both have to play well in this game if we're going to get something out of it so yeah and I notice some people, when they play in 2D, like at least on YouTube, their game is like more wider, or maybe just the pitch, how it is. Uh, yeah, I don't know, mine's not longer, more wider, but that's the way it is set up, I guess. But anyway, Tolly almost coming with a chance through there. But as I said earlier, we need to win this. You're playing against a team that's last. It doesn't matter if home or away. We have to be winning this. Jack, Mabbitt plays in Jack, and that's a goal. Perfectly played right there. Great passing. And yeah, as I said, we should be winning this game. And it'll showcase there our dominance and the really the lack of confidence within uh, Dorchester. That's really bad defending. We're just able to pass through the defense too easy. You're only going to see that when you play against a really bad team. And yeah, well done there. Yeah, Tom Tolley to finish off the good work. That's his job. And that's what he did right there. Uh, Brown's been good at fullback this year, left back. Come on, got to win the ball back here. Parker's through. No. No. No, that wasn't really the goalkeeper's fault, really, I guess. He couldn't have done much more. It was poor to 
I let them have that chance to defense or check on the replay again to see. And I'm trying to not complain. I'm just going to take, yeah, I'm going to take whatever happened. But look at that. Priest, not great defending. And yeah, that was a great shot there from Parker. Too hard to say for Churchill on that occasion. It wasn't a goalkeeping error. Come on. Not again. Come on. Lucky. Lucky had a knock. Maybe that resulted in a poor shot, I guess. Uh, they got Tim Parker. And he's a regen as well. I can't wait to get new regens as well. Wow, I'm just excited to get those in the team. Hopefully you can get a new Tom Tolley, but of course, preferred in a different position because then, yeah, we don't need more in the same position. A good winger would be nice, even though Williams has shown... Williams doesn't have amazing attributes, though. It's hard to say. Adelsbury, Jack. Williams. Back to Jack. To Tolley. Oh. You know the weird thing about him? You know how he takes long shots, but he's only got two long shots in his attributes? That's a bit interesting, but he scored some good goals, so it's hard to say. But 1-1 one, one at the moment, it's not, like, as long as we got the goal back and we're not losing, that's positive. No, they scored, didn't they? We need to get a goal back, yeah. Uh, far from pleased. Curtis McKenzie, I'll just say, no pressure. And Lamar Powell, same, no pressure. They're young players. Usually for young players it works, but we'll just move on. We've got to still go on the attack. Tolly, early goal. No. I thought he could have got a shot on there, but he couldn't get a, yeah, he couldn't get a shot on. Come on, take the chance. Wow. Changes desperately need to be made here. Jack is going to come out for Alan Ryder. Uh, Jamal Edwards for Williams. Hasn't played good enough. And who who can make a, a difference here? Okay, Dan Ball. He needs match fitness. And we'll take him off for Brown. He's not even playing well anyway. And he's an older player. And you have to make decisions now who I'm going to offer contracts to. Because I do, I do have it there. I have the wage budget, of course, releasing or selling for zero. Kira Gilbert to another club, St. Albans, if you watched the last episode. But yeah, we have wage budget now, which is great. Come on, it's like 700 and something. But I'd rather let players go before I sign someone. It's like the same situation at last season now. So, but no, what are you doing? No, please don't be a red. And he's the important one, Brian Dutton. He's the experienced player. We probably have to let him go and look for someone else. I might have to look for some... See, the thing is, I'd probably sign... Oh, come on. Wow. This team is last. Wow, okay. Look at this here. Tolly he tried to win it back. He could... Look at that, McKenzie. He couldn't clear it, so the goalkeeper was out of position. And, yeah, that's, again, out of positioning by the goalkeeper. Come on. We need to get a goal back now. Come on, off. I'm done. I probably should have a I'm done meter Every time I said it, it should come up, yeah, like one, two, three, to count how many times I say it in a season. But anyway, yeah, we're going to lose here against a team that's last. That's not good. Can we go, like, overload, or it's probably too late anyway? No one scores at this time. Well, a few times, but, yeah, not very often. Come on, do something. No, nah, it's not going to happen. At least I'm getting a clear eye on players I'm not going to offer contracts to. I can tell already. Like I said, Walker, he was experienced this level. He made the difference. Assertive, I'm far from pleased. There you go. Wow, we had one on shot on. Nah, that's not good enough. Even the next game is still going to be important against Eastbourne Borough. Uh, but we've only got one more goal than we conceded. That's. It's not really promotion candidate. Last year we came second. It just. I'm shocked after coming second last season, we didn't get promoted. Any other league in the world, I would have. <laughs> I just think it's funny. we Coming second, that's a quality season, and now we're paying because of the league rules. But anyway, Marvin Bennett, like, look at this. Screw South, stages, let's go to last season. Yeah, we came second. Ebsleet got promoted instead. Come on. We got the most goals in the league last season when we had a really good team. And unfortunately, due to 
the wage budget problems, and we probably would have had a better wage budget if we were in the school premium. We'll be able to keep the quality players, but unfortunately, yep, that was a situation, and we're probably not going to finish that high unless we go on the same run like we did, but we're not looking likely. We got wage budget. We could sign someone, but again, I'm just going to save it for offering new contracts to players. Is there anyone that's so important right now that's needs roster? No. He's on the most wages as well. Probably let him go. Or should I try and sell him? See, I'm not going to try and sell him unless I have to get a good right winger uh, through our intake. If we don't, I'll be keeping him. That's what I mean. Andy Gallinar, uh, I don't know. No, we need a right back. And he's been, yeah, been solid for me. Dan Ball, of course. Now, I have to offer him a new contract. He wants way more, though. I'm not sure how that's going to work. I'll try and get him on 400. Okay, get him on 425. Only it's 50 more than he's has already, or he's had already. Yeah. Uh, Williams as well. He's on 325. How much does he want? He wants 450. Come. See, he's won. He's, he's got 12 assists in the league, of course, but still, I don't know, some games he doesn't play amazing. So I'm going to leave it for now. Curtis McKenzie is definitely, like, he's a young defender that's going to be superstar. Uh, he's got good League 2 potential, so we need we need that solid defender that's quick. He's got teamwork, leadership as well. I'll try and get him for 350, maybe. I'll push for that 350, and we get it. Anyone else? Aaron Brown, Priest, Jake Thompson, Adelsbury, of course. Uh, he's a crucial player for us, as you know. Don't need even no, don't need to talk about him. What? He doesn't want to. Oh, he want, doesn't want a new contract. What the hell? So he's gonna leave for free? Nah, you can't do that. What a cunt! He was one of my favorite players, and now wow, he doesn't even want to. Okay, fine. This is why I hate. Ah. Uh. He was so good for me, and now he wants to leave. What the hell? What's his problem? Okay, fine. Let's just try and beat Eastbourne. We're going to play Adelsbury. He doesn't want to... Who knows? Uh, we'll take Mabbitt out. He wasn't that great. Do we even have any other centre-backs? We, got... we don't have much. That's going to be a problem. Alan Ryder will come straight in for for Jack and Stern. Probably going to play for a contract. We're going to have to leave Tolly in. He's only a real option. We need a real quality striker. We need an experienced striker. That's what we'll be looking for next season with the wage budget I'll have. I'm going to look for actually a good striker. Not a wannabe like Tolly. Like, he's a young player. He's going to be a good player in the future, but now, we'll see. But I just want to sign, a bit, like, a guy that's going to guarantee you 20 goals, 30 goals, or something, just a high amount of goals. Like, if you go to School South, like someone like Reese Connolly for Boran, with those strong attributes, that's the kind of striker I need. So that's someone I will be looking for, whoever's available. But yeah, for now, this is all I can do. Is that it? I don't want to drop Adelsbury, even though he doesn't want a new contract. He's he's a legend for us already. He gets amazing goals. We need him. And if we keep playing him, he might want to get that contract. That's what I mean. And they've got three... At, no, we have to win this. Three at the back is horrible. Oh, I'm, I'm actually confident I'm going to win this. Like I'm saying now, I'm going to win this, unless some BS happens. <laughs> but anyway, we'll see how it goes. But three at the back, uh, and us going attacking, we should be able to at least create chances at the very least. But we'll see how it goes here. Come Ryder, do something. Brown, Adelsbury, Williams, finds Ryder, back to Brown. Here we go, Tolly, it's a goal. What did I say? It only took us nine minutes as well. Tolly steps up. He's pretty good in the air. Uh, 16th goal of the season for his first Akul sheet. Like, last season wasn't his first season with us. It, technically, it was, but he didn't have a pre-season with us and that kind of stuff. 
He was just, yeah, he just joined as a youth player. Common Rider finds Stern, finds Galinar. Oh, we need to take these opportunities. Because who knows what can happen. It's an opportunity here to get back in the playoffs. But we should have won the last game. But, like, when you play away, who knows what can happen. But we're playing against a team was last. Who knows. Williams plays in Ryder. Finish it. No. Wow. And that's the thing about having a team with young players. They're going to be inconsistent. Even though they're good, which they've shown on multiple occasions, they're going to be inconsistent. Tolly. Oh, he fired one. He's probably had the, he's the best long shot for a two for his long shot take. He's got two, unless it's improved now. But yeah, he's the best as we score again. He's the best player I've ever had, best long shot taker that I've seen, like the evidence in game, uh, that has two long shots out of 20. <laughs> Craziness. But anyway, pre-score is an important goal. Might push. I probably won't sign him up again on a contract. Might look for another centre-back, but players need to be available. Priest finds Adelsbury, and it's three. Oh, come on. I almost said four. I don't know why, but it's another goal for another centre-back. This time, it's McKenzie. I know, yeah, I know he definitely will be a player for me. Adelsbury making the assist there for him. And McKenzie, simple finish as well. Goalkeeper was in good position, and it's 3-0. Get in. Come on. Let's keep scoring. Can it be four? It's four. No. Oh, it was a real chance for us there. And I told you we'll win. Three at the back is horrible. I knew when I saw that. And we've actually got a good record against this team as well, Eastbourne. Borra. We've got a yeah, a decent record against him. And he'll be looking to go in 3-0 at home. Into the break. Half time. Fantastic stuff. Let's just say passionately, I'm very pleased. You have to say that. When they put in a star performance like that. Yeah, and it doesn't feel like we're playing against a team that's in the playoff zone. Good save, Churchill. And the good thing about having a young team, we're only going to get better. So hopefully that could put us in a good situation to get promoted. It'll be the same as last season. We're still going to... Well, if we get there... Oh, go in! Oh, how did you miss that, Tolly? Wow. Finish it now. Wow, okay. I didn't expect the score there, but in the end we did. Stern finishes... Hopefully can hit some goal-scoring form as well. Uh, I was surprised to score there, honestly. I thought the chance was over. Adelsbury, see, again, the impact. He smashed it. Again, Adelsbury's shot led to that goal. Uh, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed that he wants to leave. I'm really disappointed. Yeah, that he doesn't want to accept a new contract. But who knows? If you get promoted, it might be different. different situation. He might change his mind. Oh, no. Appear. Oh, what are you doing? But that's the thing about this level. You're always going to concede. Well, not always for sure, but you always stand a chance to concede a goal. Uh, who's going to come off here? See, Adelsbury had 8.3 rating, basically being my best player. Aaron Brown, well, the whole team has played great, apart from Ryder. He hasn't had a good game, so I'm going to take him off. Anthony Jack will come on. Lamar Power as well. We'll take off Tolly. And one more. I don't know, because the whole defense has played insane. Even though we just conceded, but... You'll move on here. Lamar Powell looking happy. That's good for him. But again, he's a guy I don't really see. But as long as he's on a non-contract, I'm going to... Obviously keep him. Because we're not paying him unless he plays, like he has done here. Well, of course we pay him, but... Yeah, that's deserved, because he's playing. <laughs> Can we make another sub? Just to hold on here, 4-1. Yeah, one more sub I thought I could. And we'll bring on Dan Ball for Brown. Just want to get that match fitness in him. Coming back from that injury. But this has been a great win. It's seeming to be a 4-1 victory. We could score again, maybe. Priest to Jack, play it through. Nah, Adelsbury finds Powell. And just wasted it there. Uh, come on. Five minutes remaining. Should be holding on here. One minute now. And we need to hit form. It will be a perfect time, wouldn't it? To hit form. Let's go passionately. I'm very pleased. What a game. We dominate in the shot department and we take their position. But this is where we need to continue the form. 
that we need to continue it. It needs to be one of our run of winning games. We move into promotion. Come on, boys. You can do it. Come on. Can it be that run of form I've had previously? We, we did get a loss there to Dorchester. Maybe it's just one of those games. But, yeah, last four games have been three wins and just a loss there. But yeah, we've been improving at the very least. Like, if you go back around here, dropping points in a row, like, to lose. We're not losing games in a row. That's the positive sign. We did go on a kind of weird run there. Four games where we got three draws and a loss. But, yeah, we've been improving. Ever improving, which is good. I might, yeah, I might think now to offer some contracts to players. I'll just see what gets accepted with the other ones. And, yeah, I'll see you guys with the next episode. The next episode, actually, there'll be two games. And then the episode after that will be the youth intake. So, yeah, watch out for that. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.